Welcome to another edition of DMAC Focus on Products. My name is Alphonse Gutmann and I warmly welcome you to today's webinar Economically and Safely Positioning Suspended Loads DMAC DCBS Chain Hoist with Balanza Functions. Our product manager Asaf Topkaya will present you the innovative and new features of our electric chain hoist DCBS. We are proud about a really important increase of the load capacity and we will present a new operating controller. The innovations and enhancements make the DMARC DCBS balancer an even more valuable solution for handling applications where ergonomics and safety are a priority. As a component of a current DMAC chain hoist series, we can offer you the DCBS balancer at a very attractive price. Hello and welcome also from my side to our DCBS session for the webinar. My name is Asaf Topkaya and I'm the global product manager for special light crane systems, handling solutions and balancers. Today I will introduce to you our DCBS chain hoist with balancer function. Here the agenda. I will start with the product features. We'll talk shortly about the positioning of the DCBS and we'll go on with the functions and operating modes of our relatively new hoist. After that I will show you the parameter programming, the technical documentation and our new option external load sensor. These are the product features of our DCBS. Intuitive control means lifting and lowering of the load by manual force. You don't need to push any button. You only have to lift or lower your hand. FEM class 4M, which is the highest FEM class for chain hoist I have ever seen. Not only with our chain hoist. There's also no competitor hoist with a higher FEM class. Maximum hook pass of 4.3 meters. Gearbox, brake and slipping clutch are maintenance free for up to 10 years, like for all our DC pros. It is a plug and lift hoist, which means you can plug it in and start to work. You don't need to do any calibration of the sensors. This is done by us in the factory. The load capacity is now even higher and up to 250 kg. We already have or had handling equipment with direct load control, like the DCM, which is a hoist with pole changing motor. This means that you can operate with two speeds and the manual lift pendant. Furthermore, we offer our DCMS with infinitely variable speed and the manual lift pendant. At the other side, we had the DBE, an electrical rope balancer, which was as expensive as all other rope balancers within the market. Our idea was to offer a hoist with balancing function, which is cheaper than all rope balancers and therefore more economical for you. That is why we have developed the DCBS, a chain hoist with infinitely variable speed and balancing function. The hoist has also a manual force pendant to do the lifting and lowering. Means you don't need to push any button. Direct load manipulation means balancer mode. We also have a lot of safety aspects. For example, it stops when the load fluctuates widely or the possibility to adjust load limits. I have mentioned before that we combined our DCS chain hoist with infinitely variable speed with a D-grip servo control pendant. The D-grip servo has the complete intelligence inside to enable the balancing. If we look at the basic unit, the difference to the standard DCS is the different parameterization, which is implemented directly under the electric cover of the chain hoist. If we look closely, you can see that the control switch housing is not permanently connected to the load string. It is connected to the hand force sensor via springs. This sensor is located in this area under the housing. 
in addition to the hand force sensor, we have installed a load sensor in the shaft of the pendant. Another important part of the pendant is the light barrier, which is installed on the back of the control switch. The barrier recognizes the hand on the pendant and starts the grip guide mode. This means that as soon as I take the control switch in my hand, the brake of the chain hoist is released, the hand force or manual force mode is shown on the seven segment display with a H and a brief interruption of the light barrier activates the brake of the chain hoist in the balancing mode. I will show it to you later on in this uh, session. The light barrier can also be used to the automatically switch between the grip guide mode and the balancing mode. Let's take a closer look to the control pendant. We have two switches or buttons where you can program the desired functions. A seven segment display where the operating modes are shown. For example, when I grip the pendant, you can see the H for the hand force mode or grip guide mode. On the right button, we have the manual activation of the balancing mode. And of course, we do have an emergency button, which is also used to acknowledge error messages. The default settings for the key assignment. On the left button, we have the server function. If I want to move the chain hoist in the crane, as you can see, there is an unwanted lowering movement. To prevent this, I press the left button. And now when I pull the pendant, the brake is activated. But if I press the button and lift the pendant, the hoist will lift with maximum speed. This is to avoid slack chain. I will show without pressing this button. My hand is faster than the chain hoist. On the right switch, you can find the manual activation of the balancing mode. The weight of the attached load can be displayed by briefly interrupting the light barrier. I will show you this. First, I have to take the load in grip guide mode. I activate the balancing mode by pushing the right button. And now, when I interrupt the light barrier, it starts with a small O. And then it shows a 2 and the 8 means we have 28 kg. However, the hoist does not serve as a scale. These values can be used as general information or for functions such as the load pickup mode. Now I will show you the four operating modes. First of all, I will show you the grip guide mode. I enclose the control pendant with my hand generate the handle occupied signal by interrupting the light barrier and can lift and lower the load by moving the housing of the control switch. I do not only set the direction, but also the speed. This means that as soon as I am slowly lifting or lowering my hand, the hoist slowly lifts or lowers. When I do it fast, the hoist will lift and lower the load with a faster speed. When I release the pendant, the brake will be activated immediately. For the load mode or balancing mode, I enclose the control pendant with my hand, push the right button and release the pendant. You can see the display changes from H to L within a half a second. In this amount of time, the load sensor measures the uh, attached load and I can change the third load with my hands. When I create a higher load, uh, the hoist lowers the load. When I reduce the load by pushing against it from below, the hoist lifts the load. For assembly applications in a horizontal way, you can use the assembly mode. The lifting speeds are reduced and we have a fast response for load impacts.
The DCBS finds the third load by lifting and lowering motions. The load is leveled into the fit. In the load pickup mode, the DCBS lifts up to a preset force and holds it exactly in a suspended position. This um, function can be used for a horizontal release from a jig, for example. Let's have a look how the assembly mode and the load pickup mode works. try to do the assembly application with a standard hoist, there are risks of load collision, unintended forces and uncontrollable movements. Here's the overview about our DCBS portfolio. We have the DCBS1 for loads up to 125 kg and the DCBS2 currently also for loads up to 250 kg. We will also launch the option external load sensor. With this option, the DCBS can be used in manipulators, vertical lifters, or customer-specific load handling attachments. We took the load sensor out of the control switch, but the load sensor remains in the load line. The control switch with the sensor for the manual force can be attached to another location where the operator can reach it. As mentioned before, the DCBS is a plug-in and lift hoist. You only need to plug it in and you can start to work. But you have the option of adapting the hoist to the application even better via the parameterization. All needed adapters, cables and the software for the parameterization are in the scope of delivery. You can find the DCBS in all our designers or configurators like in the DC chain hoist designer, our sleeving jib crane designer, or in the KBK suspension crane designer. The documentation, you will find four documents in the scope of delivery. All information about the parameterization you will find in the DGRIP servo operating instruction. You also can find all documents in our DMAKE document system DDS. DCBS, a precise, efficient, ergonomical, and safe hoist. Thank you for joining and stay in touch with us.